Now, in lesson number three, we're ready to take a gigantic step forward. And yes, I believe and know that all of your third graders can be successful with this equation that you see here in a few lessons. Now, all, but do keep in mind, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm doing three lessons in about 20 or 30 minutes. In a regular classroom, you wouldn't be doing that, right? Do lesson one, practice worksheet, next time lesson two, and so on. Okay, I need a volunteer. Maybe someone who hasn't spoken yet. I need someone to come up and use the pawns and cubes to set this equation on the scale. Who would like to try? Okay, please come up, Brian. And tell us what you're doing, Brian, okay? Explain, uh, oh, let me put the microphone over here. Uh, explain what you're doing, okay? Uh, no, that, it'll pick up your sound. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, tell us what you're doing when you're setting this up. Oh, that one? That one, yes. I want that one. Okay, tell us what you did so far. I've done uh, four... You need the other cube. The, the cubes are 0 to 5 or 5 to 10. Okay, I want to ask the rest of the students. Uh, boys and girls, would you raise your hand like this and shake them? Raise your hand and shake it. This means I agree. Would you hold your hands like this and do this? This means I do not agree. I'd like to know whether you agree or disagree with this. How many of you agree with what he has? Okay, let's, uh, let's give Ryan a nice hand, please. Let's give Ryan a nice hand. Okay, congratulations. Now we're ready to do this by trial and error. And I don't want you to rush, students. I'm going to give you a full 15 seconds to try to get the answer. <laughs> You may begin now. You have 15 seconds. Time's up. No more thinking. Okay. Uh, now, we could do this by trial and error the way we did before, right? But how many of you would like to learn an easier way of getting the answer? Let's see if we can discover an easy way to do this. Boys and girls, let's say I have a balance scale in front of me. If I remove a blue pawn from one side, what else must I do to maintain the balance? Okay, Eli? Take another one from the other side. Take one what? Take a X from the other side. How many agree with Eli? Okay. Supposing I have a balance system and I remove two blue pawns from one side, what else must I do to maintain the balance? Parker, can you answer that question? You take another two from the other. Take another what? You take another two from the other two side. Two what? Two pawns. Two pawns from the other side. Good. Boys and girls, what would happen if I have a balanced system and I take away two blue pawns from one side and only one blue pawn from the other? What would happen to my system? Okay, Kelsey? It wouldn't be equal. They would not be equal. Okay, boys and girls, this is what you have just told me. You have said that whenever we have a balanced system, and this system is balanced because it has an equal sign, I can always remove the same weight from each side and it will still be balanced. Look at my hands. Am I removing the same thing from each side? Okay, boys and girls, this is going to be called a legal move. Repeat after me. This is a what? A legal move. Would this be a legal move? No. Okay, who has not been up here yet who would like to come up and show us a legal move? move. Is there anyone who has not been up here yet? Kelsey, please come up. Use both hands at the same time. Uh, show me a legal move. How many are you removing? Okay, put it on, uh, hold it up, hold it up above the scale. Boys and girls, how many of you agree that's legal? Okay, put it over here. Do you see another legal move, Kelsey? Okay, put it down. On the, do you see another one? Put it on the, scale, on the table. Do you see another one? Uh, this one? 
Okay, put that down, put that down. Okay, why don't you come to the other side? Let's give Kelsey a nice hand. Okay, Kelsey wonders whether this would be a legal move or not. Boys and girls, how much is this worth? How much is this worth? No. Are they worth the same? No. Is this a legal move? No. No. But notice what happens. We now have a baby equation. This has a weight of nine. This has a weight of two. What must this pawn be worth? Show me on your hands. What must it be worth? Show me on your hands. You could show me on your hands without looking at your neighbor. Either way, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, what's the answer? Way, way up above your hand. How much is it? Seven. It appears that the answer to this big problem, this is a ninth grade algebra problem, by the way. It appears that the answer is x is equal to 7. But we're not finished yet. What do we have to do to be sure? We have to? Check. Okay. Now, the way we're going to check it is we have to put up the whole problem one more time. Okay, so let's put it up one more time. I have 4x's plus 2 equal 3x's plus 9. Okay, this is the big moment. This is going to tell us whether the answer works or doesn't work. Okay, if x is 7, boys and girls, what do we have so far? 7. Boys and girls together. Okay, what do we have so far? 7. And now? 14. And now? 21. And now? 28. And now? 30. 28 and 2 is what? 30. Okay, I didn't quite get everyone. One more time, please. If the pawn is 7, how much do I have? 7, 14, 21, 28, 30. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, teachers, can I have a drum roll, please? A drum roll? Let's see if the other side is also 30. And if it isn't, we're going to have to do the problem again. And if it is, we're successful. Okay, if x is 7, what do we have here? 7, 14, What is 21 and 9? What is 21 and 9? I can't hear you. 30. 30. Are both sides the same? Yes. Okay, so boys and girls, this is what we've learned. In order to do an example such as this, we first set it up with the pawns and cubes. We then do a series of moves. What are these moves called? They are legal, legal moves to find the answer. And then we put everything back up to do the check, OK? OK, students, would you stand up, please, and face our friends? Let's give a nice round of appreciation. <laughs> OK, uh, all of you may know who these students are, but I certainly don't know. So just give us your name, uh, your grade level, and the school you go to. You are? Eli, I'm in fifth grade and I go to Columbus Signature Academy, the Lincoln campus. Parker, and, I, and, then, and I'm in third grade and I go to Columbus Signature Academy. Okay. Colin, third grade, Columbus Signature Academy. Taylor, fourth grade, Columbus Signature Academy. Kelsey, fourth grade, Columbus Signature Academy. Brian, fifth grade, Columbus Signature Academy. Is there a teacher here? It's two. Huh? Okay, so, okay, very good. So, boys and girls, we want to thank you so much for uh, being here this morning. I'd like to ask you a few questions now. What did you think of this experience? What did you think of this experience, Ryan? It was kind of interesting. Can you explain why? Because it actually got me to understand more. Okay, okay. Yes, please, Eli. It was easier. It didn't take a, quite as much time, and I didn't have to quite... Um, really think quite as much. You didn't have to what? Think quite as think much. Think quite as much? Okay, we think you did some thinking. Okay, hold this microphone. You could pass it to whoever's speaking. Okay, anybody else? What did you think about this experience? Okay, now normally these equations are presented in the eighth or ninth grade. Using this approach, students can learn in the third, fourth, or fifth grade. How many of you think that, that children should wait till the eighth or ninth grade to do this? Raise your hand. How many of you think they should be doing it earlier using this approach? Can anybody explain why? Kelsey, can you explain why? Why you feel it should be done earlier? Because um, when we're in eighth or ninth grade, we can still study more about it. Okay, you could, you could advance and go beyond it. Okay, Taylor, what are your thoughts? Be uh, do it at the eighth or ninth grade or begin earlier? Begin earlier because um, when you're in the eighth and ninth grade, you'll be able to do more challenging stuff. Okay, so a similar idea. Okay. Any other reasons why children should be doing this in the third or fourth grade, Colin? 
I think you should start earlier because um, you you would be already prepared for it. Okay. All right. So a similar theme. Okay. And what are your thoughts, Ryan? Children learn better when they're younger. Okay. He's a future educator. Uh, okay. <laughs> tell, uh, tell me more about that. How um, do you know this? My mom's actually a teacher. <laughs> Okay, and all of you are aware of that. You're familiar with uh, what a four-year-old year involves learning a new language versus an adult, right? Any other comments or thoughts about your experience this morning? Remember, these are teachers, and they want to know what you think because based on what you're saying, they might want to use it with their own students. So any, how many of you think that these people back here should be using it with their students? Raise your hand. Can anybody add one final comment? One final comment. Okay, our future educator. Do you want to add a comment? <laughs> Let's give them all a nice round of appreciation. <laughs>